it's Jen from peanutbutterrunner.com and this is Foam Rolling 101 for the lower body. Today we're going to hit our IT bands, our hamstrings, calves, quads, and glute. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the floor and work the IT bands. So your IT band is the band that goes, it connects at your hip, down to the knee, and it's a place that gets really tight on our bodies can cause hip pain and knee pain. So you want to kind of work that line of your IT band. So we're going to start out closest to the hip. I'm going to lay on the foam roller close to my hip. And you're going to just kind of try to find where that IT band is. Once you find it, you'll know because you can really feel it. So working the IT band in short blocks more effective than long sweeping motions. So I'm going to work the upper part, then move the foam roller down a little bit and hit the middle of my IT band. Looking for any knots that you might have and really spending time there, even if it hurts really bad. And finally, closest to the knee. I'm not on my knee. I'm just hitting that IT band down close to the knee. And this is going to be a spot for a lot of people where you're going to feel some pain, but it's good. And moving to the hamstrings, I'm going to place the foam roller under my hamstring up close to the glute and work it in sections again. So you have options here. You can either roll like this, just with the one leg, or you can cross the top leg over for added resistance. So we're hitting the upper part of the hamstring and then moving to the middle and finally closest to the knee. All right, and then we will move on to calves. So for your calves, we're going to work in sections again, starting closest to the um, Achilles and ankle. And we're just going to roll here. Again, placing that top foot over for added resistance. When you first start foam rolling, that might be a little too much. So just remember, you also have the option of just the one leg. Moving to the middle of our calves. And finally, up close to the knee. The tender spots on calves are usually closest to the knee and closest to the Achilles. So just spend some time down there. Remember, if it hurts, there's a reason why it hurts. All right, and moving now to our glute. So you're going to bring that foam roller back up and just kind of find those muscles in your glute and roll them out. And the final part that will work here is the quadricep. So you're going to roll over, and this time you're actually going to lay on your foam roller. Two options here. Can do, can, you can just roll here in sections, or if this isn't enough for you, again, crossing that leg over for added resistance and working sections. And that's all we've got for lower body. Check me out at peanutbutterrunner.com, and be sure not to miss Foam Rolling 101 for the upper body. Thanks, guys.